Harley Davidson and LA Riders was first released to the Japanese market in 1997 of December and released to the rest of the world one month later. This game was also planned for a Dreamcast release, but a lot of people blame Crazy Taxi for causing the port to get cancelled due to supposedly similar gameplay. That's just not true. LA Riders is a point-to-point -point driving game where you drive on a Harley Davidson motorcycle across various sites in LA, kind of like Outrun on motorcycles. Crazy Taxi, on the other hand, requires you to pick up and drop off passengers at various destinations in a fictional burst of San Francisco. While both games are good in their own way, I'm going to focus on LA Riders today. After you insert your credit, you'll be taken to the character select screen. You have five characters to choose from, each with their own bikes and stats. The Fat Boy, driven by Rick, is an all-around bike recommended for players of all skills. The Panhead, driven by Scott, is the slowest out of all the bikes, but it has good handling and acceleration. The Dyna Wide Glide, driven by Dave, has good speed and handling, but lackluster acceleration. The Sportster, driven by Ann, is the best bike for beginner players to utilize as it has good acceleration and handling. Finally, the FXRP Police Motorcycle, driven by Susie, is the fastest bike in the game, and if you want to smash records, use this. After picking your rider, choose your transmission and let the ride commence. Now, you're ready to race. Depending on the machine settings, the game can last from 3 to 5 stages. The basic idea of the game is like OutRun, get from point A to point B as fast as possible. However, unlike OutRun, which has you going along a linear path with the occasional fork in the road, LA Riders has a midnight club sort of get there however you want type of thing. Beware, like OutRun, you're on a time limit, and if you run out of time, game over. No continues of any time. It makes the game more challenging, giving you a sense of urgency in getting to your destinations, but it can also be painfully frustrating, especially because the open-ended LA is just begging to be explored. But there are different destinations each playthrough, so no playthrough will be the same. Graphically speaking, this game came out in the late 90s, and it does look like it. The graphics aren't bad though in this day and age, but they leave a little more to be desired. Though, the open-ended city of LA does look nice. I doubt it's an actual recreation of the city, but it sure is fun to drive through. There are even a few instances where you can see Sonic the Hedgehog, like on one of the pillars near the entrance on the mansion in Beverly Hills. The music also does the job well. One of the tracks, LA Blue Sky, was taken from Sega D Super G. Although it was arranged differently, it's still a plus. Overall, the presentation complements the gameplay very well. The cabinet is also very gorgeous to play on, and especially the deluxe model which has motion in it. The controls work well. Use the accelerator to accelerate and the brake bar to brake, of course. You also have a handle brake near your right foot where you can easily use it to turn around corners. You can also push the start button during gameplay to use as a horn and use the music change button to change the music to your favorite tracks. As I said earlier, LA is begging to be explored. There are all sorts of shortcuts and nifty little secrets to look for throughout the city. Hell, you can even get high amounts of bonus points if you look hard enough in the right places. And that's really it. I can't say much else because <clears throat> it's an arcade game, but I still thought it would be fun to try it, so let's go to the final thoughts. Harley Davidson and LA Riders is a fun arcade racing game with a nice open-ended city to drive in, graphics that complement the game well, good music, and all sorts of hidden extras to find, as well as easy to use controls. However, the only complaint uh, is that the open-ended nature is limited by the time limit, but there's probably an emulation sheet that creates infinite time to explore the city. And even then, if it was ported to Dreamcast, we would probably have a free roam option. Still, even with that, this is a fun game and it's worth playing. If you see this in an arcade, give it a try. I think you'll enjoy it. I give Harley Davidson and LA Riders a solid 5 out of 5 with a badass seal of approval. Game over.